now to a potential new uptick in COVID cases as Michigan begins to lower its guard. The CDC is reporting more than one third of its wastewater sampling sites have seen a spike in coronavirus in the last two weeks, an early warning sign of a possible new wave of infections. This as more people drop their masks. The CDC is no longer recommending masks in public in Metro Detroit, and many Michigan schools are marking two weeks without a mask mandate in place from the health department. Yesterday, the state reported outbreaks and COVID clusters in seven schools. All but two were in local schools. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is taking a closer look at the state of COVID in our schools without the extra layer of protection. In schools, you'll still see some students wearing masks and some not. And while COVID cases are going down, some schools are still seeing outbreaks. Because usually by the end of the day when I pick him up, he's it's off. He's ready to go. He's he's done with it. Angel Ramirez says her son sometimes wears a mask here at Allen Elementary School in Southgate because his grandmother has cancer. Allen is one of several Michigan schools where the state is reporting a COVID outbreak. At Emerson Middle School in Detroit, there are three cases. At Wilcox Elementary School in Holt, there are five. And on the west side of the state, at Lincoln Elementary School in South Haven, there are four cases of COVID. Same for Ann Arbor Christian in Whitmore Lake. At Paddock Elementary School in Milan, there are six COVID cases, and at Allen Elementary School in Southgate, the state is reporting nine. Well, they still do wear their masks, no matter if they're not supposed to wear them or not. You know, there's still the chance of them getting COVID no matter what. So our school age cases are down about 90, more than 90 percent since the peak of the Omicron surge. Dr. Avni Sheth is Wayne County's medical health officer. She says everyone can help keep COVID cases trending down if anyone who isn't feeling well stays home and gets tested. And if positive, follow isolation protocols. So we're still very much living with COVID-19, right? The cases are coming down, but there's still virus in the community. And the, the vaccines, they're, uh, they're very safe. They're very effective, especially against severe illness. Like we do have a little bit of activity in the community, we also have a little bit of activity in our schools, so that's not surprising. Miller Cerniglia with the Washtenaw County Health Department says some school districts like Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti Public Schools are still requiring masks. We can necessarily predict what's coming next. We have to be kind of ready to use those precautions when they make sense. Deal with the, the mask and without the mask, they're still too close to the, for it to matter. I'm encouraged by the data that we're seeing right now. Uh, you know, but with COVID, uh, you really don't know what to expect next. In Southgate, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much.